Hey guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, you're fine. Did you turn it off because of me? Yeah. Oh, you don't need to. <laughs> There he is. Recently, I have been on a no tucking journey, which if you're not familiar, hi, welcome. If you've been following, you know me and my husband are on a fertility journey and I was told by doctors that because of my sperm count, I need to not tuck. I need to have everything not tight to my body. It's been very hard, honestly. I'll be 100% transparent. It's not the cutest feeling. It makes me feel really dysphoric at times. And ever since my last video where I shared that I was giving up my gaffes, giving up my tucking panties, I got so many nice comments from you guys. Like a lot of other trans girls, it's, it was my security blanket just to have that little like nice gaff, that little nice thing that just made me feel really feminine and gorgeous but now I don't have that. I haven't had that for over a month now. So it's been a moment. So I thought that I would bring you into my closet today and take the power back, if you will, and do a little fun try on what I've been wearing recently, clothes that I feel confident in when I'm not tucked. At the beginning of my untucking journey, I definitely felt so dysphoric. I only wanted to wear like sweatpants and I really just felt like none of my clothes were fine. And I love dressing up. I love wearing tight stuff. I just felt like none of my clothes were going to work. But what I've come to realize is that you can actually look cute and feel cute and it doesn't really define your femininity being untucked. I just thought, what a fun idea. Kind of got just really excited and I was like, let's do this right now. Not to say that tucking defines a trans woman, obviously, but tucking for me was literally how I first found my femininity. I really just like found a tucking panty and then I like started wearing cuter clothes. To me, like I felt like more like myself. I know so many girls that feel completely confident without being tucked. It's not a thing to them. But for me, it really defined my womanhood. If you're going through anything similar to this, I just want to let you know that it's really not that deep. You got this. I felt at the beginning like I really needed to like shout it from the rooftops and tell all my friends like, okay, girl, I'm not tucked right now and this is like a huge thing. But when it comes down to it, it's like not really many people care. It just goes to show that like no journey is the same. No story is the same. Everyone's going to live their own truth. They're going to have different problems. They're going to have different obstacles in their lives. Some people might not think tucking is that big of a deal you know some trans women might be like it's fine like whatever but for me it was like my security blanket and back in the day day when i first started my transition i literally would insinuate that i had had bottom surgery because i was so insecure pressured I had so much shame behind it. That's why I feel like it's it's been ingrained in me that my tucking panty, it's like what I need. Now being trans for like over 10 years, there's been a turning point. And I think that everything happens for a reason. I guess this was in God's plan for me, <laughs> where like, it was like, bitch, you gotta give it up for a minute. I think that you're just given challenges sometimes and then you just overcome them and you're like, was that that hard? I, Cause I had, I had this the whole time. Obviously this is not just about tucking. It's about the bigger picture, my family that I want, the sacrifices I'm making in my current life for my future life. It's crazy because also me and Cade Gottmik, we just wrote a book together, which is coming out soon. And we've listened to so many different trans stories and like experiences. And I'm not trying to like shamelessly self promote right now, but we've just spent so much time writing our stories and having people share stories from their lives, reading everybody's stories back and reading what we had written in the book back just really put all the pieces together that everybody's story is different and unique and it's special and so beautiful. I know I've shared a lot but any part that I can share of my story it's really important to me to do so and I don't want to stop anytime soon so even if it is about tucking something as, as simple as like a little undergarment I think that that's really it's it's important and it's validating to talk about I've always felt really good being vulnerable with you guys and just hearing what you have to say because I love you <laughs> So yeah, with this video, I wanted to take the power back and just show kind of cute little outfits that I've been wearing. I like watching these kind of videos, people trying on like wigs and different outfits and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the try on of it all. Say hey, Nats. Oh my God, how much could you see? Go over that in post, please. <laughs> 
So welcome to my shoe closet. I'm gonna do a little runway for you. This is outfit number one. This is my husband's brand, Strike Oil. This one I am obsessed with, okay? So obviously with the tucking situation, we are trying to avoid anything too tight from the belly button down. I feel so free in this. I feel like sexy still. I love the leopard. I actually wore this to the Pam Anderson premiere for her documentary. And I paired it with these like Philip Klein shoes, which have like a little like leopard on the bottom. But I'm so obsessed with this. Honestly, back in the day, I used to wear like little like skirts like this just to like give me like a little hip. But I would like still tuck. And now I like feel so free not having to. I just think the way this hits is so cute and so flattering and it's like girly and fun. I've literally just used so many of these little like skirt moments during this time. <laughs> so this would be like my going out event look. Feeling vulnerable but covered <laughs> kind of vibe. I feel like I could run in this forever. It's one thing about being untucked bitch. You just always feel like you're ready to rock. Okay, get ready for me to cosplay right now because I feel like I'm in a costume. <laughs> but I really like it. I love this outfit. Obviously, this skirt is perfect for the theme of today's video, but I just think it's such a fun little set. I wore this to Kathy Hilton's surprise birthday party and Nikki Hilton came up to me and she was like, I thought you were Paris. And I was like, yeah. It's giving very that, but I love it because it's so like chic and elegant. Obviously there's like no tightness or nothing you need to worry about. This is definitely something that I would never have worn back in the day, but I think it's cute. What do we think? I also don't know why this is like metallic and this isn't because it's like a matching set, but let me know. Next outfit. Something I have been obsessed with are like cargo-y, like swaggier. Is that still a word? Asking me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I honestly never used to wear these kind of pants, but these are Drew House. I just feel so comfortable in these. This is like my go-to. I have literally like 15 pairs of like just cargo pants, denim, white, pink, just literally all the colors. So I can throw this on with like a little cute crop top. I'm wearing my Doc Martens. I feel very like Halsey in this. And this is also a top by my husband. It says burnout on it. This has literally been like such a staple go-to outfit for me because I just feel like I can be free. I can still look cute. Thank God this style of pant came back because it literally happened right at the perfect time for uh, my future bebe. Literally, this will go with like anything. I literally wear this top all the time. I think it's so cute. Don't need a bra, never need a bra. This is something that I never honestly would have worn before. I feel like I always needed to be in like a bandage dress, like Hervé Leger, like something super tight, super short and sexy. And now it's like, ah, this still looks like good. Something also I love about this outfit is when I wear it, I am ready to rock. Like you can't tell me anything, any venue I'm at, any mall I'm at. I haven't been to a mall in like a year, why did I just say that? But when I'm in this outfit, it's like game on. Like I am locked and loaded, ready to go without being locked and loaded and ready to go with my tucking panty. When in doubt, wear a slip dress. That's what I've really, really found out. Is this a slip dress? It's like a little like, I don't know, like a silk moment that you can belt. I just feel like it looks so cute. I'm completely, obviously comfortable, especially if there's like a cute little pattern on it with like matching little shoes. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. Donatella spoke at the LGBT center, so I wore this there. It's still giving like a little sexy, but like mature sexy. I might need this in like eight more colors. Okay, so I know I just did an outfit very similar to this, but to me it's very different because I'm honestly never, I've really never been a sweatpants person unless I'm like legit at home, but hear me out. Okay, so these are Chrome Hearts sweatpants. They're a little dirty because I just wore them, but they literally are like the softest sweatpants ever. And this is yet another Strike Oil top. And I just love the way that this looks. I feel totally free and confident. And I don't know, I'm glad that sweats are like making a comeback because I'm not like pissed at this. Like I usually would have been. I feel like I used to always just like need to be in like a juicy tracksuit or like something like, like tight leggings or something. But sweats have become a huge part of my my wardrobe. I'm not pissed at it. I actually kind of like it, especially like a matching set. Although this is not. I think it's really, really cute. Ah, oh, so many fashions. So little time. All while she's untucked. 
I'm excited to see which look was your favorite. Also, give me tips, please. I'm completely open to those as well. And yeah, bitch, I'm so hot from trying on clothes, so I'm gonna go. This is the last one. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I really appreciate all of your kind words, your support. I just wanted to say I love you guys so much. It really means the world to me. Let me know what you guys wanna see next, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay gorgeous.